Hello, hello, friends. Happy Tuesday. It's Talky Tuesday here in my art studio. My name's Dory Patrick. I'm a mixed media artist uh, living and working in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. It's been a really good day. I didn't think it would be. Um, I kind of started off with a headache with a stupid migraine but um, I got my pill in early and now I'm like feeling really good. Realized I really got some boobage coming at you here today. I really felt like wearing this, um, this is a Ray Gun shirt, <laughs> which I love. Um, so, woo, they're coming at you. You're welcome. So how are you? Uh, let's see, where did we leave off? Okay, since I saw you last, uh, hubby and I took a um, a little mini vacation uh, to Chicago and uh, let's see we spent four days there I think something like that and oh my gosh you guys we had so much fun and it was so relaxing it was so nice to get away um, our whole reason for getting away was to um, go see the Decemberists in concert. Um, they are one of our all time, hands down favorites. Um, if you haven't heard of them, go look up their music. It's just fabulous. It's an indie rock band out of Portland and um, their shows, I swear, just like keep getting better and better and better. It's just so good. So this concert was last Tuesday night and um, the crowd was on their feet the whole night. It was so cute. This um, little older gentleman was sitting next to me and uh, we just chatted a little off and on while we were waiting for the band to come on. And just as they were coming on, he says out loud, I wonder when the standing will start. And then like everybody stood up and he's like, oh, now, now the standing starts. Okay. <laughs> we, st we stood for the rest of the concert. There were a couple times, both he and I did sit back down for a minute, but um, so that cracked me up. I mean, it was just, they were just rocking. It was so much fun. We had such a good time and we were in the, beautiful um, Chicago theater. So if you ever get a chance to see a show at the Chicago theater, do it. It's so, it's breathtakingly beautiful. So besides the concert, um, we fit in a few other fun activities. We um, went to the Art Institute um, they have an exhibit going on right now. I don't know how long it lasts, so you'll have to go to their website, but they have um, an exhibit of Cezanne. And um, I really, really wanted to see it. When Hubby and I went to Paris a few years ago, Cezanne's art was one of a handful that really, really got me. I don't know how to describe it. Look it up. It's the way, um, I think it's the, the many, many brush strokes and he has this way with light. Um, he has a way with figures that I think is fabulous. If I can, I'll try to pop a few photos in this video so you can kind of see what I mean. Um, just amazing. The Art Institute is an amazing place and um, we try to hit it whenever we are in town because it's so inspiring I mean you just leave there and if you are a maker or a painter or whatever it is you do you just get fired up and you want to just go make stuff when you come from the Art Institute so that was super fun um hubby surprised me with some tickets to this thing called I think they're calling it wonder it's capital W N D R museum and it's kind of this pop-up immersive art experience it's a collaboration of many artists 
and you're basically, um, I don't want to compare it to Meow Wolf because it's not like Meow Wolf, but it's in that vein of artwork, if that makes sense. So you're walking, you're walking a path, you're experiencing room after room of just really cool effects um, interactive stuff. So you move your body and lights respond to the movement of your body and that kind of thing. It was really fun. And they had a, um, Yayoi Kosama infinity room that you could spend exactly one minute in, <laughs> but it was worth it. I got a couple of really great shots and I'll try to maybe pop those in here too. Um, so that was really fun and we ate lots of ice cream. Um, one of our favorites is Jenny's ice cream and there are several locations in Chicago and what's hilarious is there was a Jenny's right across the street from our hotel. We were just, we thought that was hilarious. Had no idea until we got there but yeah and we did we did lots of walking there was a day we spent i mean not a whole day a morning we spent on the riverfront sitting and um drinking our coffee i did a little sketching in my sketchbook and uh just did some people watching and relaxing and the weather was perfect the whole time it was just really perfect and then we capped off the trip before we left um hubby suggested and I took his advice and we stopped at an independently owned camera store and you know where I'm going with this um thank you to Dodd camera we ended up purchasing some equipment so that I can up my content game and do a lot more um online teaching and just um having some other options really more options than I have now this video I'm making for you now is is I'm still using my phone but I'm gonna transition over to my new Canon and uh, we got a light box all that stuff so I'm excited about that it's a learning curve for me um, it's gonna be a big learning curve there's some new ways to edit the videos and the pictures and I'm just gonna try to commit to a little time each week to get it down for you. So yeah, that I really am so excited about that. So we've been home and we're just um, back in the groove. Um, today, in case you were wondering, I am finally getting through my, I had a big shipment of my postcards and note cards came from my printer and I'm finally checking my inventory in the Etsy shop and I'm up packaging and updating the Etsy shop with the postcards and note cards. So that's going to be good. I'm shooting for having that all done today. We'll see how that goes. But uh, yeah, so once I get the paper goods packed up, organized and out of the way, um, I will get back to painting again. I have a couple of shows coming up and I wanted to let you know about those. Sorry, I'm checking my notes so I give you the right dates. The next one coming up is the Octagon Art Festival. That is in downtown Ames on Main Street. Super fun show. I have so much fun there. Um, it is Sunday, September 25th. And I will try to put a link to um, some one of their info pages. So if you need some details on hours and stuff, you can find it easily. But I'll be selling there. And then I've also been accepted into the Red Wing Fall Arts Festival. This is Red Wing, Minnesota. And it is October 8th and 9th. Um, I think this is a new to me show. So I think according to the photos that I see of the event, it looks like we're kind of in a downtown area. I'm not really sure, but I will put the link to that festival as well. So you can um, clarify where that is. Uh, so Red Wing. And then um, I'm so happy that it looks like Prairie Woods, the Prairie Woods Spiritual Center in Hiawatha, which is right here by us. It's a 
suburb of Cedar Rapids, um, they are reviving their holiday bazaar. And if that goes as planned, I'm going to be there. It'll be Saturday, November 19th. It's super fun day. It's just a few hours and it's like fun and frenzied and everybody's getting into the holiday spirit and um, lots of fun artists and crafters at that event. And Prairie Woods is such a lovely spot. Um, in fact, I've been thinking I really need to get back there and do some exploring. So, um, I think that's it for business stuff. I did complete a couple, um, the sketchbooks that you guys have been seeing me use. Let me grab them. Okay. I don't have time to do a flip through today, but I'm going to really try to get one done for you for next week. I'm going to try. You can yell at me if I don't do it, but I have filled every page of these two um, sketchbooks. Um, these I, I've been sharing on the socials and you guys have seen some of the beginning little sketches and drawings that I'm doing in them but um, I think there's some content towards the back maybe you didn't see but I love a sketchbook tour I hope you do too so I'm gonna really shoot for that next week this week I'm going to do an unboxing of something I ordered from an artist that I met in Appleton now I hope I hope I'm pronouncing her name right. It's I think it's Liza. It's L-I-Z-A Allinger. And I'm going to put her link to her Etsy shop in the show notes. Um, she was a fellow artist at Appleton in July at that show we did. And she's from Appleton. And she makes the coolest bags. I mean the coolest bags and not just bags she does some home decor items too some um, pillows and table runners and it's a lot of um, suede and uh, leather like material and she just does these super fun geometric pattern stitches them together it's amazing and if you met her you would be like She's just this sparkly individual. You just want to you just want to be her friend, be her bestie, you know what I mean? So, I want I really wanted to get something while we were in Appleton, but I just wasn't finding. She does several different sizes and there was a certain colorway I wanted, but in a certain size. And long story short, she's like, "Dory, just let tell me what you want and I'll make them." So, I got this the other day, and I've been waiting for you guys to join me. Da, 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 da. She even does cool, cute little, this was her business card at the show. It was little triangle cards. So, we're going to open it together, and um, I'm going to be very careful. It's, she wrote on the box, do not open with a sharp blade. Um... So I'm going to do this very carefully so we can open this together. And I hope that if you love what you see, you will go to her Etsy shop and give her a little bit of love. Um, I can't say enough about it. She's just got this unique, unique style. I just love it. I can't wait. Sorry, you're not really seeing it unboxed. You're not seeing me open it, but I will show you, I promise. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. So here's what it looks like in the box. She put it in a super cool, reusable, um, it's like a muslin bag to protect it while it ships, which I can reuse. Thank you, Liza. Okay. Uh, 
sweet little note. And again, this is her little card I was telling you about. Isn't that sweet? Okay. Oh my gosh. I can already tell. I, oh my gosh. Okay. I'm going to try not to be too annoying. Okay, guys, are you ready? Look at that. Look at that. I mean, what? Oh my God, look at the back. Look at the back. I knew she was gonna do the shiny green. I remember seeing that in her booth and, um, love it more than I thought. I mean, I, this is more beautiful even than I remember. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love it. Okay. Let's look inside. And she is so thoughtful about the pockets. So there's a pocket on each side. Well, I'm not showing that very well. So perfect for, you know, your, your glasses on one side and your phone on the other. So you know how we're always digging around for our our phone and our sunglasses but look at that and what I love about this style this is a cross body that is bigger it's a bigger cross body this is gonna be so great for traveling because I'll have everything just right here close to the body instead of kind of flopping around you know what I mean oh my gosh oh my gosh and I love the touch of black because I wear a ton of black. And so this will go with everything I have. <sighs> Can you even stand it? Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm going to try not to be too annoying. I mean, oh my gosh, that yellow. Like everything. Everything is perfect. And it's a black denim lining. So that's going to just hold up. Awesome. There's a really strong snap at the top so I can keep everything contained. I mean, every little detail. She thinks about every little detail. Oh, Liza, thank you so much for doing this for me. I absolutely love it. Oh, I love it. Okay, you guys have to go visit Liza. I'm going to put her link in the Etsy. And uh, go support her. And I'm going to go take this on a toodle around town. Happy Tuesday, everyone. I'll see you next week for a sketchbook tour. Okay. Bye-bye.